Okay, yeah, my name is uh, Earl Coopercamp. Just came back down here again this afternoon. I'm a uh, pastor at St. Mary's Episcopal Church in West Harlem. And uh, I've been coming down here every chance I can get since I started occupying. Uh, actually, I was meeting with a couple people to see what we can do to get the churches and other communities of faith. Uh, we've done a lot of support, but now maybe to organize our support a little bit more. Uh, find ways to help uh, serve some food, find ways where people can sleep, pass, you know, get a shower, get away a little bit. Uh, so uh, any kind of support we can give. Uh, I think this is just so crucial. I'm just so happy. Uh, I wrote my bishop the other day and I said, Bishop, you got to come down here and see. This is what the kingdom of God is going to look like. So we get a little glimpse of it. And it's just uh, so amazing to see so many people out uh, look, taking care of each other, um, you know, spending time to be here with each other, spending time to really talk about what the problems are, but how it is that we can be together and solve those problems. And I'm just so thankful for it. To me, this is a miracle. I just got back uh, last night. I took a little road trip. So I went down to Occupy Baltimore, and then I went down to Occupy uh, Washington. Then I came back to Occupy Philly, and then got back here last night. So I just wanted to see that this is still uh, going. That was the Occupy East Coast road trip. It was a lot of fun. Uh, but it's also so important just to see this happening uh, all over. And I think the fact that you know, it's really that sense that we're the 99%. Uh, people of all races, of all different ethnic groups, uh, people of all different faiths, no faiths, different political ideologies, coming together to say something's wrong in this country, in this world, and that we need to do something about it. You know, it's going to take a while to get everybody together to figure out what we're going to do, but at least we're asking the right questions. At least we're talking to each other. Thank God, and I think that's so important. And so, uh, you know, the, uh, my, my demand would be that just we keep being here and keep making sure that justice happens. Uh, make sure that there's space, especially for the young people that really get, you know, have so inspired us, uh, that we don't shut them out and say, like, oh, yeah, it needs to be done this way. No, they're showing us a whole new way to do it. And so my demand is for uh, the older people and people who are like heavy ideology, step back, see what you can learn. Listen, open up your ears, open up your heart.